We lost my good friend Ed Brazil two years ago. It is a great honor to accept this Lifetime Achievement Award on his behalf, his daughter Amy, and grandson Camden. He instilled his passion of water skiing and snow skiing in Amy and Camden's life. I would be remiss if I didn't mention his number one supporter, Heather Bonney, with whom he had a special bond. They met at the Moomba Masters and traveled throughout Australia and the US at numerous water ski events. Heather writes, I hope you are jumping 200 feet in a ski park in heaven, Ed, and with all your snow boots and my old Conley HP jumpers and my bear hat that you bought me for Christmas. Ed to me and many others was a true friend and changed our skiing for the better. Over the years with many of his innovations, rewriting many pages of the USA and IWWF rule books. I think everybody that met Ed would have a unique story to tell. His daughter Amy adds, how passionate he was about snow skiing. This was the time that we spent together. He taught me to carve a turn the moment he put me on skis as a child. He took me to all of his trips out west since I was seven years old. Many of these trips he had won from winning races in NASCAR. I have so many awesome memories of skiing out west with him every winter. There was a time I raced in New Hampshire and was the fastest woman in the state. He was, all, he was at all of those races and even at Steamboat when I was on the podium at the NASTAR finals one year. I think that may have been the happiest I've seen him and certainly his proudest moments watching me succeed from his coaching. He was full of pride that his grandson Camden was also becoming quite the snow skier. As a child, Ed was very misunderstood and was diagnosed in the autism spectrum. He was sent off to a private school at Phillips Exeter Academy, because that's what you did with strange genius children back then. He scored nearly a perfect score on his SATs and graduated from Thaler School of Engineering at Dartmouth College. The movie Animal House is based roughly on his fraternity, and yes, he did blow up a toilet. There was talk that Belushi's character was loosely based on Ed. He was a lifetime lover of animals and would even care for my cats at the Greater Miami Ski Club whenever he was in town. He was honored with an honorary lifetime membership at Miami, our highest honor only given to those who contributed greatly to the club. He shared photos of his grandson Camden with me and he was very proud of him. I have great memories of Ed. He was an inventor of many ways to put in courses. He could set up a course on a running river. He was the tech guy for the Pro Tour for many years. He set up two courses at the Palm Beach Training Center that are still straight today, 15 years later, self -let with self-leveling buoys and devised a simple way to change out all the buoys in 15 minutes. He helped set up many of the USA programs that are still in use today. He introduced me to the world champion, Flea Jimmy Jackson, a great friend of Cypress Gardens and water skiing. In recent years, due to failing health, he did not get around much. He spent his last years at McCormick's where he could be around water skiing. He always threatened to make a comeback in jumping, but it never did happen. He was my go-to guy for any, anything water skiing related and could explain all the rules because he wrote most of them. He was chairman of the Hall of Fame committee and worked side by side with his second family, Carol and C.W. Lowe. Ed was a senior tech advisor and regular judge and always willing to help at events. We all miss Ed and his secret language, Iga Giga.